What's up everybody? Coming back at you with a few more colors and a new bob wig. I really hope you like this look. But we're not focusing on the hair right now. We're focusing on this pretty eye makeup. I know you see it. Anyway, if you want to see how I got this look to match my hair, then please stay tuned for the tutorial. y'all so y'all already know what we're gonna do with these eyebrows i love my top brow by kiss in the color ebony so we're just gonna throw that on the eyebrows gonna shape them give them a little bit more depth so now we're going in with my true glam brow makeover kit by brow bar in the color dark, we're gonna say the concealer in there. We're gonna give them more shape. We're gonna make sure these look extra sharp. So once we're done with that, I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm just blending that out so it doesn't look so sharp and that it'll blend in seamlessly with my foundation. So now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Master Prime Primer and I'm going to prime my face. Y'all know how I like to do. Just going to slap that everywhere. So this time this is not Maybelline Fit Me and this Sephora bottle is actual Sephora and I wear the color Cafe um, Matte Tan 45. So that's what I'm using this time. I actually have some Sephora foundation in this bottle. Um, so I'm just going to put this on my face. It does oxidize, okay? So I know it looks very, very orange and bright and not my color, but it does go down to actually being my skin tone. Also, I am on the phone. Sorry. That's why I'm not doing a talk through. This is going to be strictly voiceover because I'm on the phone and people kept calling me. So I know I usually use the color Cafe 50 in Maybelline Fit Me concealers, but this time I'm using 55 and it's hazelnut. I feel like it actually goes a little bit better. It's not as bright and it makes it look a little bit more like a natural glow. already know I'm going in with for my contour with the matchstick by Fenty in the color Espresso. This is the only contour that I have actually found actually works for me. The other ones are either too chalky, too thick, too dark, too light, but I really like this one. I like the way it goes on. I like the finished look of it. It doesn't make me look like I have dirt on my face. It just works really, really good for me.
I know I look crazy putting contour under my lips, but it just makes them look more plump without any injection, okay? I have very small lips compared to my husband. Now I'm just going to go with my, my Maybelline setting powder in the color Deep. I am using the color Deep. I'm not using light medium. I'm actually using this color finally, and it looks so much better. I don't know why I even have light medium. I'm using um, the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. I don't even think they make this anymore, but I love it. It's beautiful. It gives you the perfect color. I'm sorry, I'm talking to my husband in this clip. Um, he had just come in from work, but that is what I'm doing. That's what I'm using. I'm also going to use it here on my nose and also in a minute on my eyes. You're going to see that in just a second. This is what I was talking about, the CoverGirl Queen Collection. I really cannot find this anywhere, so I don't think they make it anymore. I'm going to look more into it. Um, but that is what I'm using because the eyeshadows that I have that are chocolate are a little too dark for the look that I was going for. And this actually has a subtle sheen to it, so it works beautifully. So now I'm just going to go in with my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and I'm going to do a cut crease with a slight wing to it. in with the only yellow color that I have in all of my palettes. It's Marigold from the Profusion Spectrum palette. Um, I'm just going to put this on the inner corner and a little bit towards the middle of my lid. I really don't want to overpower this look with yellow this time. in with the color Lucky from the same palette. I love this pretty color green. It really does look like something from St. Patrick's Day. But I'm just going to put this on the middle of my lid and I'm also going to blend it with the yellow a little bit so it doesn't look like a whole stop and go situation. It's actually going to look like it's blowing into the green and the green into the yellow. If you get what I'm saying. Hopefully you do. I'm using this gorgeous teal blue color called Mystic Ice from Dominic Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette. I love this color. It's so pretty and this whole palette is just so pigmented. I can't wait to use it again. So now I'm going in with my Fine Line Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen by Black Radiance. It gets the job done. I do also have um, their jar of eyeliner, if you get what I'm saying. It's the, it's not the pen, but it's, it's like the little jar tube thing. And I do prefer that, but I really just didn't want, feel like getting up and getting it at this point. y'all already know just gonna go in do three dots in the messy area and just gonna clean up all of that mess that I have everywhere and make it look very sharp and very neat so now I'm going in with lucid dream from the celestial thunder palette and I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line because I want this pink color to match the paint that's in the back of the hair because there is an undercut in this unit Taking Champagne Pop by 
NECA and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm also going to use this on the inner corner of my eye for an inner corner highlight. So now I'm just dusting off all of the excess powder on my face and I'm going to set it with my Black Radiant Setting Spray and also go in with my Artisan Color Baked Blush in the color Warm Berry and I'm going to add a little color to the apples of my cheeks to make me look a little sweet, you know, <laughs> maybe not, I'm, I'm told I'm a thief. Now we are grabbing our Champagne Pot by Becca again because we are about to blow for the gauntlets. We are going to put this on our cheekbones and on our nose, the bridge of our nose, our forehead, our chin, and our upper lip. by NYX. The color has rubbed off of this lip pencil, but it is my favorite. I use it in every video that I'm lining my lips with unless I'm using a different color. But for the brown and the liner on my lips, this is what I'm going to use always. Now we're going in with just any random pale nude color because I don't want my lips to overshadow my eyes, so I'm doing something a little bit more natural. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little ashy, but it's gonna work, I promise you. Wait until the end, okay? Hold all judgments until the end, and then leave them in the comments. So this lip gloss is by Black Radiance as well, but just like with my NYX lip pencil, I have no clue what color this is. I'm gonna look it up, and I'm gonna leave it down in the description box below for anyone who wants to know. I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to prep my lashes. These are the Princess Lashes from 4kbeauty.com. These are my favorite Meek Lashes or the whole collection. I don't really like them too full, but I do like they give you that glam effect without being overpowering. So we're not really done yet because this look actually really needs some jewelry. So let's pop it on and here we go. Earrings, necklace, even a yellow nose ring. Yes, I know y'all like it. Y'all see this hair, y'all see this makeup. I know y'all like what you see. If you don't, then let me know why down below. Hi, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. I hope my lighting looks better to you. I kind of figured it out. I think I figured it out. Anyway, so if you saw this picture of this hair on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere that you may be looking, it probably looks a little different. The look looks a little different. Um, I had originally filmed this look, this whole makeup look, but... I lost it <laughs> I don't know where it went I could have sworn that I saved it on my computer and my hard drive and that it was still in my camera but everything just disappeared I don't know maybe I was up late one night working I lost it so I refilmed it and when I was doing the look I was like okay so I have these colors in the eyeshadow but the colors back here you know all these bright colors back here are not incorporated into the look so I was like okay so it's mostly pinkish reddish purples back there under this um, blue it's kind of like a peekaboo but you have color over it as well um, so I was like I need to get those looks in here I need to get those colors those so like, okay I have this pink color in the Celestial Thunder palette by Dominique Cosmetics and why not use it to smoke out my lower lash line and I think it's cute um, if you're looking at me head on you're like okay why do you have pink but if I would have just turned my head and swish you see why I got the pink right so it's kind of like giving you a a reason to pay more attention to me like why do you have pink with blue yellow and green well this is why um I really like this look I really hope that you like it this unit I'm debating whether I want to put it up um, on the website like this or if I want to put it up with just these colors you know just this ombre type of color here with the blue yellow and green or if I want to put it up as a peekaboo because that's technically what it is it's an a line it's asymmetrical I guess is what you call it I don't know this side is shorter than this side originally it was all the same length but I decided to make this length longer and do a feathered bang with it it looks very 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 cute I love this whole 
look that I have going on here. Yes, so let me know down below what you think of this. Let me know if you're interested in seeing something new like some other colors with the units. I do have a whole shipment coming in for the company and only a few orders right now. I'm pretty much caught up on my orders. So I only have a few orders right now that I have to get done. So the rest of the hair is just here as stock and there's a couple that I've already planned to play with so let me know if you want to see something from me in the comments down below please don't forget to like and subscribe okay like this video give it a thumbs up if you did like it if you didn't then just let me know down below what you thought of it and what you think I could probably fix um also subscribe okay subscribe because I'm gonna I'm throwing these out there okay they're gonna be on Instagram Facebook I have a Twitter but I don't really use it <laughs> but I'm putting these videos everywhere because I really want you guys to see it so subscribe that way I won't get on your nerves okay matter of fact go ahead and click my little circle right here to subscribe and then click you a couple of videos over here I'm gonna put them up for you I'm gonna make it easy I, you don't even have to do anything you literally just have to tap if you're on your phone and then click if you're on the computer click my circle subscribe click a video I got two for you just click something okay I'm making it easy for you right all right <laughs> love you guys bye now